Oh, you thought I was getting out, didn't you? Am I getting out? Nope. <laughs> okay, let's go. We've got ourselves a beautiful January morning here. Um, I'm going to be up in the 40s supposedly here today. Uh, that's uh, really warm, I guess. I'd say it's warm. Yesterday we dug out a couple of semis. The high V truck is here. My dad's running around in the Peterbilt. This truck here was an absolute bear for me to start, and I just realized the door wasn't all the way shut, so I'm going to guess the batteries are completely dead. Again. Oh, boy. Yeah. Come on. Every time this truck sits, its batteries go dead, and I had to charge them yesterday. Got it started, rained it for about three hours, so I'm hoping that it just starts. Engine block heaters just is plugged in. It's start for me. Oh. Today is Wednesday, I think it's Wednesday. Wednesday, January 12th at 7.36 a.m. And there's supposed to be a big report that comes out today and report days can be good days for farmers or bad days for farmers especially in these highly volatile markets that we got right now i mean last friday i believe make sure i'm on hard to text soybeans which was what i was hauling went up 24.25 cents so for easy visualization for you guys uh, a loaded semi went up 240 bucks per semi that you take down the road it went up and then on monday it went down 26 cents prices right now in my career are higher than i've ever seen but you know i started farming in 2000 i think 2014 was my first growing year so i started farming after the last big hump where everything was still high priced and there was no profits we might have an issue. Slight issue. Does this work? See, I can't get my hands in between the tires. make your hand cold. What do you got? What's that? What'd you find to eat this morning? Something you're not supposed to? Eh? Something you're not supposed to? This breath will smell great later. Anyways, it's gonna take me a little while to fill up this uh, tire on the semi with my little pancake air compressor. I did film the other day when we actually got snow, which should hopefully maybe by the end of the day be mostly gone. Just in time for it to start snowing again on Friday. It's, I think Friday it's supposed to snow again. I'll, uh, I'll put in a little snow clips for you guys. Then we'll get to load some grain once I get the tire slowly filled up. I'm gonna drink my coffee too.
that was a little bit different this year now that this uh, roundabout has been concreted in. Quite a bit more snow to push. And right here, that is pure ice. See, I'm trying to track forward right now, and I'm going backwards. Problem with tracks in the snow. Oh yeah, we're going way backwards. And we're going down there. And we're still spinning in circles. Good job. There we go. Wayne's Rock, which has been relocated to over there, was right here for numerous years. Ask me how many, come on, go up the hill. Ask me how many times I knocked that rock over. There's a reason it got relocated. All right. Later on, we're gonna load a load of soybeans here. We'll look at it this way. If it goes up, I'm happy, because I still have more grain to sell. So, that's a good deal. If it goes down, I'm less happy, but I'm happy that I sold a couple loads of grain. This is the mental dilemma. And right now, the farmers that watch this channel are probably yelling at their phone or computer. We'll just have to see. And what I was talking about with that swing there the other day, and this is kind of the crazy, crappy part about the market, is that that big swing there over the weekend, you know, we went up and then we went down that that deal is uh that wasn't trading bar upon a, like a report from what i understand uh it wasn't like the weather forecast uh south of the equator it was just money moving into the markets and money moving out of the markets so funds can swing our markets that much and it really doesn't have anything to do with the the grain that actually farmers produce so that's kind of crappy, but that's the world we live in. Made it across the road here. I'm on my back hopper loading beans finally. Uh, you want me to call you when I get back? I can take Bandit with me for the first load. I can take him all day, but um, he, he just gonna nap and he can probably be more comfortable on your couch. Yeah. <laughs> all right okay i'll call you when i get back all right bye but oh you're on with me first round <laughs> so far as we unload the first load the markets are down three and a quarter pennies on corn Three and a half pennies on soybeans. That's for January. And uh, I've got, there's, it's like 20 minutes until that report comes out. The problem is, is that I would just turn around, load up another load of beans, go sell it. We'd be in good shape at that point. But the issue is, is I can't get loaded and delivered. It'd take me an hour to go get loaded and get delivered again. If there's a bad reaction to the report and it drops big time, that really slows down my uh, my mojo to go sell some beans. Uh, corn doesn't seem to be moving too much. And now that I've said that, corn's going to move a whole bunch. So I'm either going to load a load of corn maybe a little bit later, unless it drops dramatically, and then that takes the mojo out of that too. I'll probably load a load of corn anyways. Or beans, depending on what it does. So let's see what happens in the next 20 minutes. Well, good news. I'm going to load again. Before it apparently came out, it was a little bit bullish on soybeans. Soybeans are up 11 to 13 cents or something like that. Um, we'll take that. Corn stayed pretty flat. So happy i guess you could say i'm happy you might think that it'd be unhappy to not ever have held grain 13 cents 11 cents lower it's just the way it is i was in pella a couple days ago for a 
uh, listen to a speaker. And of course I had to stop and pay my pellet tax, which is where I stop and spend about a hundred bucks in between the bakery, the bakeries, the meat market there. Great dried beef, great beef jerky. It's quite a snack, quite an expensive snack. So something that you don't hear anybody really talking about that kind of pertains to uh, green hauling. Don't worry about all the dots and stuff there. That's what happens when you, yeah, don't have to kick that back in. That way you can roll the tarp, yep. Is, uh, well, it pertains to kind of grain hauling because it's hauling with a truck and you need a CDL to drive a semi if you're a regular person. Apparently you don't need one if you're a farmer or working for a farmer. Don't quote me on that, but I think that's what I understand. Bought that chop truck and trailer there over my head. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it. Uh, but I was talking to him, I was like, do you need a CDL to drive this truck? She kind of came up and said, no. I have gone from this side of the truck to the wrong side of the truck. I'm doing good here. But she asked me if I had my CDL. I said, yeah, I've got my CDL. I ended up getting my CDL. Well, pretty much when I came back to the farm. But apparently here in the next 30 days, if you don't have a CDL or a certain part completed by a certain date, the ch rules change to get your CDL. And it sounds like you're going to have to go to classes, put in a bunch of hours or something like that. I'm really not sure, but it sure... Sure makes it sound like it's gonna be extremely difficult or time consuming to get your CDL. Which I gotta assume that's gonna deter people from wanting to get their CDL to have truck driving jobs. Which is probably about the exact opposite of what America needs right now with the supply chain issues we've got going on. But no problems here today, let's take a load. Probably don't see that very often, do you? Anybody know how to get that stuff to stop bouncing over like that? It's really nothing but maybe a two or three bushels by the time you unload the entire dang thing, but still. It drives me a little crazy. That's because those soybeans right there, or oh, we're loading corn now, is it's going straight to hog feed. This corn here is actually headed to Missouri to go also straight to hog food. Just taking advantage of this nice weather, haul some grain. Man, those 10 inch augers moved the grain. That's not even all the way open. and sloppy out today to wrap it up uh, I guess we talked about how soybeans went up 15 cents yesterday past 26 cents today and corn crashed 11 cents in 11.50 or 11 and a half cents today I have corn on right now it's the way it goes got a couple of projects I want to do got a couple of farm visits that I want to do uh, we should have some more videos coming to you here before too long. Appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you in the next one. Welcome back to the good old Southern IA. Uh, the Southern IA is currently covered in about foot snow. Lola, you were sitting up here so cute. Now I just got your fluffy butt.